this cool or what? We're at Kosai and those bones are moving. I can't even believe it. It's amazing. Look how long that tail is. Wow. I highly encourage you to get a Kosai membership or at least visit Kosai once in your life if you're in near Columbus, Ohio. This is just such, such an awesome experience. We love bringing the kids several times a year and we definitely get our money's worth on our membership. Isaac says he found some real bones to touch. Let's see. What is this? That feels kind of like plastic to me. This is so you can get an idea of how much their bones weigh. It says, move this, okay? These two bones were next to each other in the neck of a young Camarasaurus. Oh my goodness, I butchered that. A long-necked plant-eating dinosaur. Feel how the rounded front of one bone fits into the hollow at the back of the other. Can you do that? Can you? Oh, you did it. You are so smart. Well, here you, where's the hollow? Show me. Yeah, just like that, good job. This is called ball, a ball and socket joint. The flat angled surfaces at the front of the tethered bone and the back of the bone on the post allowed them to glide smoothly when the dinosaur moved its neck. Come on, mama, one thing at a time. What is that? Whose thigh bone is that? <laughs> Titanosaur thigh bone. I've never heard of that. Never heard of a tiger. No. This massive femur once helped support the rear end of a long-necked plant-eating dinosaur called a titanosaur. Cool. This is really cool. You know what that is? Footprints. Dinosaur prints. Wow. I think they're supposed to be real too. This is Carla. She's going to teach us something. Let's pay attention. Of course, these two boys aren't exactly quite accurate to these skulls we have here. I want you to compare and contrast here, and I want you to look at the differences. I want you to see if you can tell which one of these toys would go with which one of these skulls here. Ooh. Look at them closely. Look at the details. Yeah, so as you can see, this skull is a little more narrow than this skull here. They look, both at the, have, look at the eyes. Yeah, that's right. Look at those eyes. All right, they both have really sharp teeth. So these teeth. Look at the height of the skull. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you see which one goes which one? So these teeth are a little more close together. These are a little more spread out, but they're still both very sharp. Well, these are exact replicas. All right. So, do you agree? So, do you think this one goes with this one, and this one goes with that one? I think this one goes with that one. All right. So, what's your answer again? So, why do you think that? Alright, so what, what, the, what is it about the shape? How is it shaped? This one is narrow. Okay, so you think this skull is narrow, so yeah, the, the front is more pointy. So what do you guys think? Do you agree? Yeah. No. I think that one is there, and yeah. that one goes here. Oh, so you think it's opposite? Hey, why are you... Why put that I, I see how this guy's head shaped like an egg, and that's more like an egg, and this one's longer and narrower. Okay, so you guys think the opposite. You're so cute. Just look, see this? Wow, what a gorgeous display here.
Well, I don't want to spoil it too much for you, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And we're going to continue to enjoy Kosai as a family. And uh, we'll bring you some more videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. And I'll see you on the next video.